Hey guys, if you make a common mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on repairs that you may actually not need. Make sure to stay until the end, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Dodge Ram that generation here from year 2013 to year 2018. If you have one of those, if you need to find where your speedometer fuses are located, we have up to three of them. Stay with us, we'll explain where you can find them, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stay until the end. So, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix anything like engines, transmission, codes, fuses, bodywork, all that stuff. Why we do all that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. On this channel guys, specifically, we will be making a video about every single fuse, every single relay on that Dodge Ram and let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your fuel pump fuse goes bad, all we have to do, find our video, watch it for a minute or two, replace that fuse, you're back on the road. So we do that guys to help you as much as we can. Also, we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So let's start on it now. So guys, the speedometer fuses, where you can expect to find them, we will demonstrate on this generation Dodge Ram right here. What you need to do, open the hood. Under the hood, you see, that's your car battery here. In front of it, that's your main engine fuse box. That cover, you need to open it by pressing two taps, lift up, it will open. On the inside, you'll find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. Guys, it's very important to always test your fuses and relays. Why? Sometimes you may think you have a good fuse, guys. It's hard to tell. Look at those fuses, right? And sometimes, okay, you pull the fuse. Okay, I'm going to get the fuse puller and I'm going to remove one fuse. I want to, I want to show you on that 20 amp fuse. Sometimes it's very unclear if that fuse is burned or not. You may not clearly see it. So always, guys, test them because if you don't test the fuse, you assume it's good, you end up spending money time and diagnostics for problems that do not exist guys so you can just waste your money and time always test your fuses always test relays we will put links in the description of the video below where you can find guys a video for testing a fuse and testing a relay that will explain everything that you need to do if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Ram, fuses, relays at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time, we're going to put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. So, for the speedometer, three fuses we need to check, however guys, make sure you stay until the end, we want to give you one good advice, that way guys, okay, you're not stuck in the middle of nowhere like we ended, being stuck. First fuse, 49, will need to be checked, next fuse. 84 right here will need to be checked and the third fuse for the speedometer will be known as fuse number 88 right here now guys you have all kinds of different fuses and relays buy some spare ones put them in the glove box for a peace of mind one time we was uh, we needed a replacement fuse we couldn't buy one we were stuck in the middle of nowhere for a few days because of that so always keep some spare fuses thank you guys for watching and see you next time